Hello everyone, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations featuring Gumshoe's pathetic face. Buddy, don't worry about a thing. We're gonna figure this out. I hope. Ew, in the last one we got a whole bunch of information that I'm not sure is gonna help us or hurt us, to be honest. Uh, we got a couple of things like this newspaper clipping, we got a list, and this office buzzer. I have no idea what we're gonna do with that. But man, I, it's not looking good, is it? For some, for one reason, why do they have like a whole list of things that Mass Damask has done down here? Why was there a blackmail letter? Why is our client being framed for murder? We're gonna have to figure it out. Um, the one thing that people actually told me to do, and I'm not sure if this is people spoiling me, but I'm gonna do it anyway because, I don't know, I wouldn't have thought to do this unless you guys had told me to do it. Someone told me to, like, please present Maya's profile to Gumshoe, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Here you go. Gumshoe, what do you think about this? You're such a familiar face to me now, you know? And now did I think about it, you're the real victim in this case, right? But for some strange reason, it's hard to think of you as a victim, pal. Oh. You're darn right I'm the victim! That was our most precious treasure! Haha, <laughs> you know, pal? I think I know why I can't think of you as a victim ever. <laughs> oh no! Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> I've done it. Alright, so I think we're pretty much done here. Let's move around and see. Now I'm worried because they said that there's one more security guard that could have been there and known about all this, and I'm a little bit nervous about who that could be. Something tells me we're gonna find out once we go down here and talk to the security guys that were on call that day. Well, my fears are realized because I've already seen a, a yellow, orangish, yellow? It looks kind of yellow to me. Jacket. And I know who that belongs to. Ooh, look, I see like a little bento package over there and a juice box. I mean, this place looks pretty cool. Look at this. This looks amazing. Hello? Is there anyone in here? Wow, this is really something else. For a security guard office, it sure doesn't feel very secure. Yeah, it kind of looks like someone's living in here. KB security guard. Uh-oh, I just remembered. Larry might be- Hey, Nick, what's up? Yup. Larry. Larry has your blush. Did you get that from Sephora? I'm pretty sure I have the same color, bro. It looks good on you. Oh, so he is here. Phoenix, why you gotta be so mean to Larry? Yo, how's it hanging, dude? And you got my sweet little Maya with you, too! Hi, Larry! Here I was, working my fingers to the bone, and in walks an angel. I've got no problems with a daytime day. It's all good. We're not here for that. Well, maybe Phoenix is, but Maya certainly isn't. No, that's not what we're here for. We're investigating the Bullard murder case. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? Larry, you're right. Larry, I've, like, defended you before. Okay. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> He's so hopelessly clueless. Well, if it's about the murder case, boy, have I got some good info for you. Really? Spill it. Really? What is it? Uh, well, I don't mind sharing with my sweet little Maya. But Nick here is a different story. What? I thought I was supposed to be your friend. What is this guy on? But Larry, I thought you two were old school buddies. That was then and this is now. Why is he angry at me? Oh god, it's not because of Desiree, is it? What is his deal? Alright, fine. Let's talk. Give me that good info. <laughs> what a weird topic. So what's this good info you were talking about, Larry? Hey, I'm a guard, a pro. I can't just give away information for free. But if I pay you, you'll give it to me? Okay, well, let's see where this goes. He wants a bribe? I thought professionals were more, I don't know, honest? Yeah, you're right, Phoenix. Can you talk to him, Maya? Larry, tell us already. What's the good info? Hey, I like that. This kitten has got some claws. Okay, you really want to know? Yeah, yeah. So tell me. Okay, so the thing is, Ron Delight was an employee here. Right, we already knew that. And naturally, since I'm a pro, I looked into his background. You follow me? Yeah, you're a pro. I follow you. Go on. Good job, Maya. Laying it on thick. Well, one year ago, Ron Delight was fired. So he was fired. That's what I had thought, actually, when they said that he actually quit. I just felt that it was a bit weird. So he did get fired, as I suspected. And there was no warning at all. It just happened all of a sudden. I know this is a small company, but I think that was pretty awful. I guess he must have done something bad to have gotten fired like that. Well, like maybe skipping out of work to go pick up hot chicks or something. Oh, I'm pretty sure you're talking about yourself, aren't you, Larry? Oh, dear. No, that's just you. 
Yeah, me and Phoenix. Guys, how many times have Phoenix and I been on the same wavelength? It's it's eerie. It's starting to freak me out a little bit, to be honest. So what's it like to be a part-time security guard? Let me tell you, it's tough. Well, you know me. I get by all right, I guess. But first, I have to keep my eye on those monitors all the time. You mean like you're doing right now with your back towards them? Good job. Monitors? There are security cameras set in each room around the building. Can we see the office from here? Like, does one of them show it? I can't tell, because the pictures are kind of small. Maybe that real bottom center one, but I can't tell if that's it, actually. It doesn't really look like it. I think they're just random photos. Oh, darn. It's really hard. Sometimes I feel like my eyes are gonna fall out. You need to get some gunners or something. Oh. And if I see something suspicious, I have to contact one of the teams. What teams? The security teams for this company. They're supposedly the best in the business. But I'm no amateur either, so if it's something small, I don't bother calling them. So in other words, you basically watch TV screens all day long? Well, I think that's the, the long and the short of it, but I'm sure there's more to it than that, right? To be a security guard. Hey, is anyone watching this as a security guard? Do you watch monitors all day? Chime in. I need to know. You were in this office when the murder took place, weren't you? Well, why do you say that? This is just a part-time job for me, and I can't operate the equipment, and I'm dumb. What? What? Wait, you just... You just told me how professional you were. What's this now? Even if it is part-time and you are dumb, you're still in charge of security here. Hey, give me a break. Don't try to pin the whole thing on me. We weren't saying that you did it. We were just asking if you were here. That's not fair, Nick. Huh? I don't think you can expect someone like him to take any responsibility. No, you're probably right about that. Anyway, the point is you were here that night, right? Uh oh Wait, really? He's gonna lie to me about this. Uh-oh, Larry, don't do it, buddy. Oh no, I knew something smelled bad and it was the butts after all. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Never gets old, does it? Well, it's like I always say, that was then and this is now, okay? Ew. Do we have enough to start? I mean, we've only, we've only technically just started an investigation. We got a couple of things. Maybe we should start it and see what they're asking for, eh? It looks like I'm gonna have to break his psych lock after all. All right. Well, let's do that. Let, well, let's just see. Let's see what he asks for and see if we've got enough. Maybe we can at least start the process. Before, like when I first started playing this game out of nowhere, like I was waiting to have all the information, but you don't need to technically do that. The night of the crime, all right? On the night of the crime, were you working hard like you were supposed to? <laughs> well, I know that's a definite no. What? Huh? Of, of course I was. Why wouldn't I have been? But didn't you sneak out of work just yesterday to go see Miss Delight? Uh, but that was... Uh, and this is... Is there any chance that you snuck out of work last night, too? Ooh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Never! I didn't sneak out! I tell you what, I'll even bet you a dollar. A dollar? Wow, now that's confidence. What's with that drenched-in-the-rain puppy look on your face? Do you have evidence that I left my position, or are you just pulling my chain? Do you have evidence that I left my position? The evidence that Larry was not manning his station when the murder happened is... Okay, let's think about this. We know that he went yesterday, because we, we met in there. Oh, and you know what? He gave us the wallet while he was there. Here's the thing, though. It doesn't say where in the security building this was found. It could have been found right in here where he is. Although, if he'd already been fired at this point, that's not very likely, is it? Oh dear, I wonder if it's this then. Should we try it? It's not a very big chunk if we miss. I'm gonna try this. Take that. Yeah! This wallet, you know about this, right? Yeah, you handed it to us. I've never seen it before. What? Larry! You hand-delivered this wallet to Miss Delight just yesterday. Give me a break. You can't expect me to remember every little thing that happens. Yeah, dude, I have a terrible memory, too, but I mean, I can remember what I did yesterday, all right? Well, I do expect you to remember something that happened just yesterday. Phoenix, man, you and me. We were there. I mean, that was a couple episodes ago now, but still. We were there. And I even remembered that. And my memory's terrible. Yup. One in the morning on- oh, okay, so this is the part I actually did forget, because my memory is terrible, like I just said. It was found at one in the morning on the first floor of the company building. 
Something, yeah, something tells me it wasn't in the security office, but I couldn't remember exactly where. So that's proof right there. One o'clock in the morning? That's right. In other words, Larry, at the time of the murder, you were away from the security guard office, which is probably how it all came down in the first place. Ah, uh, he doesn't want to get in trouble, does he? Oh, dear. Well, sometimes that has to ha Sometimes you have to take responsibility. Can't blame it on anyone else. Yeah, but there's something you didn't think about. What's that? My shift that day didn't start until 10. The murderer might have snuck in before then. Yeah, but you would have seen him carry out the murder if you were looking at the TVs. That's for sure. What do you mean by that? If the murderer had snuck in before 10 p.m., then it wasn't my fault. It was the fault of the guy whose shift was before mine. No, not necessarily. Because he performed the murder at 1, and you were here. You were supposed to be looking on the screens, bro. You would have seen it. Why do I have the feeling that he still doesn't get the seriousness of this? Yeah, I don't think he does. Listen up, Larry. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the killer snuck into the CEO's office after 10 p.m. during your shift. All right, how do we know? Um, is it this? Mm hmm. It is this. So this was the only record we had of someone going in at 1 a.m. because it was on the data for the key card. All right. Sorry, Larry. But you gotta start telling the truth. Larry, when you use this keycard, does it leave a record? Yeah, it does. Uh, but I can't show the record to just anyone you know. That keycard data was already made public in the trial today. What? I didn't know that. Any kind of request for info like that is supposed to go through me. Boy, does that sound a bit arrogant coming from a part-time guard. Yeah, really. I think they put too much trust in them, for sure. Anyway, according to the data, the door to the CEO's office was opened with this card. Furthermore, it was most definitely used at 1 a.m., the time of the murder. No way! Yes, someone used this to get into the CEO's office. That happened at 1 a.m. the night of the crime, right in the middle of your shift. Ugh. Larry, you can't duck your responsibility this time. Ah, no! Okay, well, at least we got that done. Poor Larry. But he really needs to man up. You gotta grow up a little. You can't spend your whole life blaming other people. That's immoral for us all. All right, well, he's crying now, but can you tell me about the night of the crime, please? Oh, I knew it. It's all my fault. It's my fault that the boss was killed. My fault. Larry. There was nothing I could do. I have important issues to deal with, too, man. What happened that night anyway? Uh, my Donna happened. What? Huh? Your Donna? I got a bad feeling about this. Me, too. Yeah, my Donna called and said, I have to talk to you right away. So I went to see her and and, and he, he was standing right there next to her. What? Who was? Her new boyfriend. It was like some horrible joke. Before I knew what was going on, the guy socked me right in the kisser. Normally I'm the one that does the punching, isn't that right, Maya? Y yeah So is that why you left the security guard office? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all my fault. How can I ever make up for it, Nick? What can I do? What? What? <laughs> uh oh, oh. He's curled up on the floor, crying like a baby. Oh no, oh, Larry, that's shameful. Nick, is there anything I can do? Anything, just name it. I'll do whatever I have to do to make up for it. I swear I will. Larry? Hey, Nick, as long as he's offering, why don't you show him the evidence we've got? Show him the evidence we've got? Like what? She's right. Maybe we'll get at least one bit of useful information from him. Nick! Um, alright, what should we show him then? Let's see what we have. I have an idea of what it might be. But... Alright, um... The autopsy report. Cerebral hemorrhaging from blood trauma to the head. Article on mass to mass first heist. The list. Oh, look at this. I don't even think we looked at this last time. Oops. Tear of Emina, Crown of Bungora, Left Hand of Hades, Portrait of Magina. Huh. And then... Oh, right, this. Connected to the basement guard security guard office. There's no fingerprints on it. Is this what we want to present? Hmm. I, I, either this or... Okay. Let's start with this. Um, the buzzer in the CEO's office is directly connected to this room, right? That's right. Just like my heart is connected to yours, Maya. Oh my god. Huh? 
Go ahead, Maya, press the buzzer in your heart. Oh my god. I promise I'll come running to your rescue like the professional guard I am. Wow, that was pretty good. <laughs> thanks. I try. Do you think you could tell us about the buzzer now? Yeah, please. Please tell us. Okay, I, I guess so. Prepare to be wowed. Uh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Is it there now? <laughs> following this is a little bit difficult. Oh my god. Um, I accidentally pressed the buzzer earlier. Yeah, I heard it. So that was you, huh? You're a security guard, aren't you? Why didn't you come to the CEO's office? Well, this is the third floor of the basement. The CEO's office is on the first floor. I thought it would be a good idea to uh, adopt a wait-and-see approach. Oh my Christ. It really is all your fault, isn't it? Plus, there's a police detective here, right? I just didn't think it was necessary. It's as if he's trying to win an award for the laziest person on the planet. Really? Um, let's get back to talking about the night of the murder, okay? Is it true that the buzzer didn't go off that night? There must be a record, right? You must have had a look at it, right? Of course I did, and I couldn't possibly have made a mistake either. Do you think you could take just one more look for me, pretty please? Oh, okay. I just can't say no to you, Maya. Wow. We are stringing him along for everything. What do you think, Nick? He's probably right. I don't think even Larry could make a mistake like that. Whoa! <laughs> oh no, what's happened now? <laughs> what is it? What's wrong? I made a mistake! Huh? But how? It can't be, it's impossible. Okay, enough already. What about the records? That night, it went off just once in the morning at around 1 a.m. Wait a minute, but there were no fingerprints on it, I thought. 1 a.m.? That's when the murder happened! Really? Are you serious? That's terrible, it can't be! Oh, brother. Now what? Oh, I can't believe this. Well, fan frickin' tastic Do we need to show him anything else? I should probably examine this room as well while we're here. Oh, wait, first. You know what I need to do that I haven't done in a while? Wait, hang on. I'll tell you what. It was, I was on the screen and then I missed it. Look at this badge. Look, Larry, I'm an attorney. That's not necessary, Nick. You don't have to threaten me. I'll tell you what I know. I know it's tough to tell, but I'm really sorry about what happened. Wow, I've never seen Larry look so serious. I actually believe him. Oh. Yeah, he's like a totally different person. In that case, maybe you and I should get reacquainted. Oh my goodness, this guy. Every Does anyone know a guy like this? They try to be sweet, but they just come off as ugh. What do you think of Maya, really? <laughs> now I need to know. Wow, you've gotten cuter than the last time I saw you. Oh, really? Yeah, you look totally different than two years ago, don't you think, Nick? Maybe it's because we're always together, but she looks pretty much the same to me. Oh. Okay. Uh, what do you have to say about her? Probably a lot. That Dusty is one awesome lady, alright? It's been a long time since I felt this way. I think I'm really in love this time. Dude? Dude, quit it. She married. A long time, huh? Yeah. Well, uh, except for what I feel for you, Maya. Yeah, of course. Oof, Jesus. God, you know who Larry reminds me of? And it's funny because they actually share the same name, Leisure Suit Larry. Although, Larry Butts does have a little bit more mojo than Leisure Suit Larry, who has like zero. I don't think even he knows what he's saying anymore. How about this? This is a woman. Do you know her? Whoa! Who is this? Come on, man, don't hold out on me! Forget about it, you don't need to know, and I'm not telling you- Oh god, can you imagine Larry and Adrian together? No, she'd kick his ass. Hey now, I thought we were pals. I got a major thing for girls with black sleeveless shirts and glasses. How do you know that? And if they have an orange colored memo pad, I like really lose my cool- Ew! He has to be making that up. He can't really know Adrian. Can he? Uh, what about this guy? He's pretty hot, right? You like hot people. I'm really sorry, Nick. I swear I want to change my ways. But the thing is, I just don't have any interest in men. Oh. This guy really needs to get his mind out of the gutter. Oh my god, yeah, every single person who's shown him has commented on their appearance. Larry's your stereotypical guy, all right. That's a stereotype I don't even want to throw on people. What about your boss? Do you think he's hot? I thought he looked like Andre the Giant a little bit. The CEO of our company, he was a pretty good guy. Huh, really? Yeah, you bet. You know how I'm not very good about working hard, right? Uh, yeah, I kind of noticed. Well, guess what the boss said to me about that? I don't expect much work from you, Larry. In return, just don't expect much pay. I see. 
Um, I guess you had to follow some kind of dumb law about having security here in the building. So in order to pay the lowest wage possible, he went to the bottom of the barrel. And look where it got him. Now he did. To be honest, I really looked up to the boss. If I ever grew up to be a CEO, I want to be just like him. And don't worry, Nick. I promise I'll hire you for security. Okay, great. I feel like we spent all day in here, but let's go ahead and examine everything. Wow, take a look at these things here. Hey, hey, Larry, what are they? Hmm? Did you say, hmm? Hey, man, it's not like I have to know what they are to do my job. I, I always thought they were just some kind of decoration or something. Oh my god, he doesn't know. Oh boy. How did this guy ever get a job here anyway? I don't know. Is this your lunch man right here? That's my partner's seat. Your partner? Well, that's what I call her. She's my superior, actually. Kind of a weird old lady. No. <gasps> oh, no, it's not her, is it? Um, there's tea spilled all over that machine, you know? Oh, don't worry about it. it. Just the other day, I spilled some chocolate milk on mine. Oh, my God. It still works fine, more or less. They really know how to build them, I guess. Oh, that's the... Oh. Hey, Larry, that's your jacket, isn't it? That's right. Um, did you know you hung it right on top of some kind of lever? Yeah, sure. I was told to never, ever touch that lever. She scowled and huffed at me. Something terrible will happen if you do. Got a greenhorn? So why hang your jacket on such an important lever? Because it got me curious. If the jacket's weight pulls the lever down, that's what they call an accident. Doesn't the suspense just kill you? Don't you want to know what'll happen, huh? Oh my god. It's true, it's killing me too. What about you, Nick? Yeah, but for a different reason. Exactly, Nick, I'm with you. What's this paper right here? Something is written on the poster in fine print. A guard's five commandments. Wow, this sounds serious. Let's see what it says. Number one, obey thy superior. Number two, respect thy superior. Number three, smile at thy superior. Four, salute thy superior. Five, buy donuts for thy superior upon command. It's signed, Wendy Oldbag, Head Supervisor. If you guys could see my face right about now, you probably know exactly what the face I'm making on you. She's one tough old bird, let me tell you. Cross her and you come face to face with a real genuine ray gun. Yeah, sounds scary, all right. Well, fortunately, she's on vacation. That's why I'm so relaxed right now. Oh, is she gone? Thank God for that. It, so she won't show up in this case, will she? Those screens there show what's going all over the building and everywhere. It's my job to keep a steady eye on them, all of them. So, like, you know, what you have them doing this whole time that we've been in here. I wouldn't sound so smug if I were you. Can you watch regular TV on these two? If anyone would sit here and watch TV instead of working, it's Larry. Hey, Maya, I'm a pro, okay? Besides, you can't get regular TV on it. How do you know that, Larry? <laughs> because that was my first bit of investigation, if you know what I mean. Of course. I know what you're thinking. It was a professional investigation, all right. All right, I'm getting out of here. I don't think, is there anything else? It's just like a chair. I'm assuming that's where he sits. There's a juice box. Uh, it's just, okay. You can't look at the juice box. It's the exact same as the monitors. All right, let's get out of here. Bye. Let's go. Um, where do we go to is the question. Let's see. Uh, CEO's office to get out and then where? Hi, buddy. Hmm. Main exhibition hall. We haven't gone back here for a while. I wonder if this is still... I'm assuming it's still relevant to go. We also still have to talk to Desi, but first... Let's go ahead and, and go this way. Uh, not Desi. We actually have to talk to Mr. Delight. We haven't done that yet. Alright, who's here? We haven't been back here in a piece. The Treasures of Crane exhibit is all ruined now. Maya? I'm sorry. It's just so sad. This is our big chance for everyone to learn about spirit channeling. Maybe I can cheer her up somehow. Well, now that we've got the sacred urn back, maybe they can reopen it. Really? Sure, maybe we can label it the Urn of Masks and Masks Desires. That would probably attract a lot of attention. Whoa! Whoa! That's brilliant, Nick! We could clean up and be filthy rich. Woohoo! Wow, that was surprisingly easy. We've done it. Um, there's probably nothing else to examine here, I would say, so let's just move on. Um, what about down here, too? We haven't been down here in a bit. Hello? It's still messed up down here, I see. 
I mean, do they care about this anymore? Because we've we found out who it was. Oh, it's you, Mr. Wright. Miss Andrews, you're alright. You look like you're having a bit of a problem. What's she still hanging around down here for? Um, so, how's it going? What about the sacred urn? The urn? Oh, that. It's been taken care of already. What do you mean, oh, that? Taken care of? Do you mean it's been found? Yeah. It was brought in during the trial today. Wow, really? You really are the greatest, Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright had nothing to do with it. It was Master Mask's wife that found it. It wasn't Master Mask's wife, though. We've already been over this. Master Mask is Luke at me. Well, anyway, I I'm so relieved. How you doing, darling? You all right? You look a bit, little bit unhinged. All right, let's talk about this stuff, definitely. I just heard all about it on the news. So that detective was actually the thief all along. It looks that way right- oh, sorry, that's Phoenix. It looks that way right now. It, it's my fault. I'm the one who ended up hiring Demas to guard the treasure. Don't blame yourself. You were just doing your job. Hey, Nick. If she wants to apologize, you should let her. So, when was it that you hired Detective at me again? Oh, about 20 days ago. And when was that Master Mask calling card arrived? That was about 10 days ago. So he sent a calling card to the very place he was hired to guard. I guess that's it then. Detective Atme must have really wanted the sacred urn after all. I guess, but it wasn't even worth anything in the end. And he only goes for priceless treasures, I still don't understand that part. What? So Master Mask murdered someone as well? Well, that's how things look right now. Yes, but I thought that was he was here stealing the urn at the time. Well, we're talking about a criminal mastermind, so anything is possible. Nick, let's get down to business already. On the night of the theft, did you notice anything suspicious about Detective Atme? No, I couldn't have. After all, he was hidden the entire time. I never even caught a glimpse of him. He claims that's the way he always operates. That's just what he says so he can have an alibi while he commits the thefts himself. Yeah, he was caught in the crime scene photo dressed up as mass to mass pretty well. Hmm, it still doesn't add up though, does it? I'm so glad that she got your sacred urn back. Yeah, but there's still something that bothers me about it. What is it? I'm not exactly sure. But somehow the urn that came back seems different. Really? You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Miss Andrews? Mm -mm. No, I don't know anything. Why, why would I? Oh. Oh no. Oh no! What did you do? You did something! A psych lock. Great. What do you think this means, Nick? It means the person that holds the secret to the mystery of the sacred urn is our very own Miss Andrews. Well, I don't reckon we have enough to do this. Let's see what it says. Oh wait, sorry. I, uh, in court today, Miss Delay brought the urn back. But, it's a little different from the urn I remember. Yeah, we have to present them. Uh, I wish you just didn't have to present it every time. I mean, we have it in our inventory. It's pretty obvious that we would use it. Alright, fine. So, let's present it. I don't think I have... Jeez, Nick, I want to find out about the murder, but I also want to know about the urn. Me too. I'd like to know myself. Another loose end to tie up, I guess. The thing is, is I don't... Just judging by the progression so far, I don't think we have what we need for this yet. Let's go ahead and see what she says, but... Not this! Oh, fine! Look at this badge! Got my stylus! I need to go find it! Like, doing this with my fingers? Not great. I owe a great deal of thanks to that badge. It's the only reason that I'm still here today. Oh, that's nice. Oh, come on now, that's not true. I think what Nick means to say is it wasn't thanks to the badge, it was thanks to me! Tell the truth, Nick. I know that's what you were thinking. No way, Maya. Okay, I didn't mean to show her that, but anyway. Look at this instead. What we got? I'm nervous about this. Alright. Sacred Urn. Miss Andrews, do you know anything about the Sacred Urn? Do, do I know anything? I'm in charge of the entire treasure exhibit. The urn that was submitted before the court today. It's obviously not the same urn as before. Mm-hmm. Well, that's... that's, um, true. Maybe it isn't the same. It could be... could be a fake. A fake? 
You're the one who said it wasn't the same, so that's the most obvious explanation. Do you have any evidence the urn was submitted at the trial was genuine? Hmm. I don't know if I do. Here's the thing, right? And the reason I think we can't do this yet is because Pearl actually took the sacred urn out of our inventory. So we don't even have that to look at right now. So I don't think we were able to do this. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. Ew! This investigation is going to be a long time. I just noticed that we're already up to 30 minutes. This is crazy! Okay, so in the next one, here's what I'm going to do. I'm sorry this is taking so long, but you guys are right. This is definitely longer than the rest of them. I think, is this going to be almost as long as the last trial of the game previous? Because that was really long. Ooh, okay. Well, in the next one, I'm going to go to the detention center and talk to Ron. And I think we're going to hopefully get some stuff out of him there. And hopefully that'll guide us to where we need to go next. Just trying to take it all in. Something still doesn't seem right about all this. And I don't know what it is yet. But we'll have to find out in the next one. I'll see you guys then. Bye!